<laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Will, Will Vlog for Food. Today we are in downtown Lee Summit and we're going to try out Conrad's Kitchen and Tap House. Amy's with us. She's gonna join us for this episode. Let's see what good food we have to eat today. Let's go. A variety, they got you know beer cocktails, champagne cocktails, house cocktails, the general martinis, but then they also got like your run meal, Angry Orchard, uh, Blue Moon, your IPAs, all those different things, the lagers, good variety here. Everybody, this is Jade. She Hi. is our wonderful waitress this evening. What is your favorite thing on the menu? It's probably gonna be the Loin King. It's a tenderloin sandwich. It's gonna come with pickles, onions, a side of mustard, horseradish, and lettuce, and served with fries. Or you can upgrade to one of our premium sides. We've got sweet potato tater tots, or fried potatoes, green beans, sweet coleslaw. Sweet potato tater, tater tots. tots? Yes. They blew my mind. It's pretty it tastes good, like yeah. little donuts. Boy, do we have a feast coming our way today. We have two starters. We've got bones, which are just pizzas stuffed into tiny rolls filled with goodness. We've got pretzels coming our way. They're pretzel sticks with beer cheese. Super excited about that. We got the Loin King, which is a play off the Lion King, as I'm sure you can guess. It's pretty much a large pork loin on a bun covered in good toppings. We got the Bison Burger. The Bison Burger is pure, 100% authentic bison, which is like apparently a thing you can get around here. Sweet potato tater tots on top. And then for dessert, to top it all off, we have dessert chips. They are like little pizza crust bites that have been deep fried, tossed in warm honey, powdered with sugar on top. Sounds incredible. It's all gonna come out at once. I am excited. Lastly, we have the downtown dip, which is her choice of entree for the afternoon. Comes with fries. It is your typical French dip, but downtown instead of French. <laughs> this is the sparkling apricot drink. It has apricot brandy, simple syrup, and champagne topped with frozen berries. Needless to say, I'm super excited to try it. I'm just gonna dive right in. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I love champagne. Champagne just feels good. I don't know how to describe it. Man, I got nothing else to say. It's good. I wish you could try it. This interior is so cool. Get this. It's like brick walls all around. It's got all sorts of decorations of Kansas City. Look up here. They've got signs on the pillars. They point to like landmarks in Kansas City like Union Station. They've got Arrowhead Stadium. And these are pointing in all sorts of different directions placed on these pillars. Also, there's one over there that says Timbuktu and it's that way. So on Fridays, they've got live music that plays here on the stage over here from 8 30 p.m. to 12:30 a.m. on Saturdays from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. and then on the first Thursday of every month they have an art and music show at 7 p.m. <laughs> Would you look at all this? Okay, so it all arrived. We've got both of our appetizers here. These are the bones. These are the, the pretzels right here. We've got Josh's burger right here. The bison burger. We've got the dessert chips over here, which are covered in chocolate as well. Super excited. We've got the downtown dip over here with the French fries, the au jus. And then of course we've got this, which is the the, the loin king. Yes, the loin king. This has bacon and chicken in it. It usually just is cheese, but you can like apparently add some stuff to it. So we did. Oh, that is so good. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I was kind of expecting like a calzone kind of thing, but it tastes nothing like a calzone. Like a garlicky butter. The crust is really light. It's flaky on the top. Super good. I'm gonna dip it in marinara, because that's what you're supposed to do, I think. Mm. What are you tasting? One thing about the menu is that they've got a lot of pizzas here. We got mainly sandwiches and burgers. We didn't get a whole lot of pizza, but we did get these bones, which I'm guessing are an epic sneak peek into what their pizza tastes like. It's almost like a pizza croissant, like a pastry with pizza inside of it. It's really cool. Look at these. Okay, this is a beer cheese dip. Mm. Oh man. So when you bite into it, there's this initial like blast of flavor of the cheese that just covers the entire inside of your mouth. And then the soft, perfectly baked goodness of this pretzel out of this world good. It takes a lot for me to like a soft pretzel. These pretzels, especially with the beer cheese, have kind of a, the only way I can describe it is sort of a dark flavor. So I got the downtown dip, which is basically just a French dip, but I'm assuming better because it looks really good. It's very tasty. It's really savory. On the sandwich itself, it's just the rib and then the cheese. The rest of the flavors really come together from dipping it in either the au jus or this like horseradish cream sauce that they have on the side. I just wanted to point something out here. This is awesome. Look how many things you can dip your food into. Honey, marinara, ranch, beer cheese, spicy Dijon dip, another kind of Dijon mustard dip, buffalo sauce. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Au jus. Yes. And then 
That is a premium horseradish. Seven, eight, nine different kinds of dips. These are dessert chips. These right here, and I'm trying one directly now. Mm, those are really good. Mm. Tossing them in the honey really shows. It's subtle. The honey is there, right? And it definitely gives it a small bit of a shell. Chewy. It's not too sweet. Everything is on the savory side of the spectrum. Go ahead, try it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It sort of reminds me of funnel cake, but like a, like a chewier form of funnel cake. It's like a pleasing dessert to you. <laughs> I would almost get this as a meal. Last time I was in here, I got the Burner Burger. If you like spicy food, you would love the Burner Burger. It's got pepper jack cheese on it. It's got jalapenos. It's got sriracha. Last time I chose the Burner Burger. This time, I chose the Bison Burger. It's made with real bison. This buffalo is sourced locally from the Buffalo Lodge in Kingsville, Missouri. It's premium local grass fed and finished. Hormone free, no chemicals or additives. Uh, I really don't care about that, but I am going to try this. There's pepper jack cheese on this, by the way. Perfect amount of ketchup. So this bison burger is a half pound sirloin burger on a Kaiser bun. It's really good. I don't know if I've ever had buffalo before. It's slightly chewier than like a beef patty. This is a really delicious burger. I would definitely get it again. This is the Loin King. Uh, obviously play off of Lion King. Hand breaded pork tenderloin on, on a, a Kaiser roll, if you will. I'm gonna go in for it. I'm gonna take a good old fashioned bite. The breading kind of reminds me of like fried chicken. Obviously pork, it's really thin, but it definitely hangs out around the bun itself. Really good, light, sort of hollow crispy. So you kind of just like go right into the meat. It's really, it's, it really is very tender. This is the downtown dip. I'm gonna try it just because I would like to. That is some really good prime rib. And they give you a very healthy portion of the prime rib on yeah. there too. That's, that's a lot. I almost forgot the sweet potato tater tots. Last time I had sweet potato tater tots, they blew my mind. And I've got honey to dip it in. So good. They are literally like mini donuts. I could eat these all day long. Chubby bunny. So that was Conrad's Kitchen and Tap House. It was pretty darn good. Oh man, I enjoyed the whole experience. Yeah, and look how many, look how much leftovers we have. We got like three whole boxes we of leftovers. We never bring leftovers, leftovers home, but we did today. Yeah, and we've actually, we got a ton of food for a pretty good price. It was around 60 bucks at the end. And we've got, we got like two appetizers, three entrees, and a dessert. And so, an alcoholic beverage, those are expensive yeah. usually. So come check it out if you haven't yet. It's in downtown Lee Summit, Conrad's Kitchen and Tap House. Conrad's with a K. We are found on Patreon, most importantly, Patreon. Yes. Awesome place, you get a lot of behind the scenes content if you are one of our patrons. We'll leave a, des uh, a description down uh, in the link. <laughs> <laughs> a link down in, in the description below. Uh, we're also on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we have our own website where we post all of these episodes as a blog post. www.wolflog4food.com www Also, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please be sure and do that. If you have liked our page on Facebook, please go over and subscribe to our YouTube channel too. It would help us out immensely. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, chill out and, and feast. feast.